Wow, I can't wait to fill out another online form, said nobody ever. Well, except my father-in-law, but he's a lawyer. He's, he's weird. For everyone else, having to fill out yet another sign-up form with all your information, not to mention connecting to a bank, is a lot of work and a lot of opportunities for users to bounce. That's why there's Plaid Layer, the fast, frictionless way to onboard new users. Now, you should know there are two ways that Layer can provide data. With traditional Layer, you onboard customers that are already in Plaid's network. All it takes is a phone number and we can send you identity information and financial accounts your users have connected to in the past. And if they're not in Plaid's network, we have you covered there with Extended Autofill, which adds millions of additional users. You provide us with a phone number and a birth date, and we fetch identity data from high-quality data sources in real time. So to get started with Layer, head on over to the Plaid dashboard and create a Layer template. Now, if you don't see Layer here, reach out to your account team for access. You'll define some basic features like a name and a company logo, then add eligibility requirements to specify what data you'll need. Layer will only be shown to users if it has all the information you mark as required here. This includes identity information, like your user's name and address, and financial accounts they've added in the past. Note that if you're planning on using extended autofill, which doesn't usually include connected accounts, you might want to set this to optional. Save your template and make a note of the template ID. Next, create a session token on your server. It's like creating a link token, but easier. You'll simply pass in your template ID and a client user ID. This is typically your internal ID for this user. You'll get back a session token, which contains a link token. Send this link token up to your client. In your client, configure link, Plaid's UI widget. Initialize link from the client library and create a link handler. Pass in your link token and define your on success, on event, and on exit handlers. We'll talk more about these shortly. Do all of this as soon as you can, like as soon as you realize you don't have a signed in user. This will make sure that the layer UI has time to load and your user doesn't encounter any delays. Next, ask your user to submit their phone number. Send this number to layer by calling submit on your link handler. Link will run a few security checks, see if this user is in our system and meets those eligibility requirements you defined earlier. If they don't, you'll receive layer not available in the on event callback in your link handler. Now this might be a good time to ask the user for their birthday and make a second submit call to see if they're eligible for extended autofill. If you get an autofill not available event, you can go ahead and continue your manual signup process. Your user will never know Plaid was involved. If they are eligible for either layer or extended autofill, Link will generate a layer ready event. This means you can call open on the handler as soon as it's appropriate. In fact, you could do it now. Your user will then go through the layer process. On most mobile devices, our native SDKs can confirm their phone number automatically through silent network authentication. And otherwise, we'll fall back to using good old SMS codes. Your user will then get a chance to confirm the information that layer is about to share with you. When they're done, the link handler will call your on success callback, passing in a public token. Send this public token down to your server and then call Plaid's user account session get endpoint with this token. You'll get back a large JSON object. This will contain the identity data you asked for. Keep in mind that while the phone number has been verified, your user has the opportunity to edit everything else. So treat it like you would any other user submitted data and consider sending it to your favorite identity verification service. You'll also get back an array containing connection data for the financial institution that the user shared with you. This will be an object containing an item ID and access token, which you should store for future use. Maybe start by making a call to item get, passing along this access token to retrieve information like the bank name and ID, or call accounts get to retrieve information about the specific accounts. And just like that, you have all your user information and their connected accounts ready to go, and everybody wins. Well, except my father-in-law. Sorry, Phil. This has been Layer in slightly over three minutes. To find out more about Layer, make sure to check out our documentation and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting videos like this one. Happy layering!